Listen, I'm proud of the guys. I'll give you some injuries here. Obviously, Pat um, uh, was injured and had to come out. Um, he he hurt his – he got hit in the back of the head and and uh, kind of knocked the wind out of him and everything else with it. Um, so we took him out. He's doing great right now, which is a real positive as we looked at this, passed all the deals that he needed to pass. And, and – so we'll, you know, we'll see, see where it goes from here. Uh, Brashard Breland, um, he also got hit in the head and, um, and they're kind of going through him right now. So I'll, I'll know more later here, but, um, and then uh, that was really it as far as the injuries go. Um, I, listen, our, our crowd was phenomenal tonight, limited numbers in, but uh, they're tremendous. Uh, the defensive stand at the end of, was, was huge. Chad Henney's run was huge. Um, and then his, obviously his couple throws there toward the end were, were also big. I take full responsibility for the long interception. That one, that was my, uh, that's my, that's on me. And, and uh, I'm just, I'm proud of Chad and the way he handled everything. And, you know, he probably said it best when he said, listen, you know, the, this team is unbelievable when somebody has to come in and make them feel comfortable. And, you know, that's what team's all about. So, um, <clears throat> again, I'm just, I'm proud of the way he handled things. So with that time's yours. Let's go first to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Andy. Um, can you give us a little sense of how Pat's doing beyond what you said earlier? And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, he's actually doing very well. I mean, I just talked to him and he's, uh, he's doing good. Um, I mean, we'll see how he is tomorrow, but I mean, right now he, he's, uh, he's feeling good. Okay. And uh, what, what did you see from Chad Henney in the time you've had him that led you to have that kind of trust in him to throw that ball on fourth down? Yeah, listen, when you're around him, you just, you just know. I mean, I've, um, I, I, I'm glad he had an opportunity to play uh, a week or two ago there, whenever our last game was, and uh, get in. And, and, and uh, I think that helped him uh, when he jumped in this time of just being comfortable with the speed of everything and um, everybody has full confidence in him. I mean, you saw how the team reacted on that run and we thought we had it. Um, I think his elbow was down. I think it was a good call, um, close call, but a good call. And um, I thought it was a you know heck of a throw as the second play. Um, we go through all of those uh, Saturday night with the quarterbacks and, and uh, you know, those, those situations, fourth and one to win the game. You know, what, what do you want? Um, so, and that play happened to be there. Uh, my coaches were on board <clears throat> between Mike and Eric and Joe upstairs. Um, they were all, they all did a great job um, with the spot, with the calls, with the, you know, everything. Um, you know, they were, they were spot on. So it was a great job. Go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Andy, um, this is a little bit, uh, and Brad, I'll, I'll have one more if I can. Uh, this is a little bit different question than what I usually ask you, Andy, but there's so much happened in this game. I'm just, do you have a sense for what you will remember about this game? Is, is there one moment you think will stick out? Um, probably just uh, the intestinal fortitude of the guys um, pounding through, not getting down when Pat went down. Uh, that that's, easily, that's easier said than done. There's just... You know, I mean, somebody asked that uh, just about the quarterback. So um, that just that part of it, um, having that trust and <clears throat> having earned that respect from the guys, I think is is big. I think we'll all remember that 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 run and the dive and then the throw. Um, but l listen, nobody got down. I mean, there's nobody that was hanging their head or moping throughout the game. Um, things didn't always go the direction we wanted it to go, and you know, the guys kept battling. And then I think that defensive stand at the end was huge. That's a good, that's a good football team. Kevin's done a, a great job with that, with that team. And um, their, their guys play hard, man. I mean, they've got a lot of talent. They play hard and they're, they've got good schemes. Uh, that's, it's actually a perfect segue to the second one I want to ask you. Like, what goes into that? You said it's no small thing to build up the intestinal fortitude of your star quarterback goes down and, and the guys step up. How do you do that as a coach? What goes into that? Yeah, so listen, I think it's it's the character of the guys that Brett's brought in here. 
<clears throat> and um, and then the will to win. I mean, that's a uh, somewhere you got to be able to reach deep during the tough times, and and pull that out. And if the coaches are flinching, if the players, your leaders are flinching, then it's not going to happen. And our locker room's not going to flinch. I mean, they're they're tough that way. Um, that doesn't mean you're going to win every game. That's not what I'm saying, but uh, it's going to sure give you a chance. And then it builds confidence in the coaches to, to go for a fourth and one, right? I mean, um, there was no doubt. I mean, there was no doubt. <clears throat> I think everybody knew we were going to go for that, go for that play in, in our, on our side. I'm not telling you that in the world here, but um, on our sideline, guys just went, hey, there's no tomorrow. Let's go. I mean, let's roll. Yeah. So I think that's important. Too. Next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Andy, I wanted to ask you about the defense, particularly in the fourth quarter after, obviously, Pat was gone in the game. Uh, just what did you guys do from an adjustment standpoint that worked, and, and why do you think you guys were successful on the Browns' last possession? Yeah, um, I thought we got pressure on on the quarterback. I mean, and that was important. We had a couple of big tackles. I, I thought that was big. I thought the coverage was tight. Um, and then, you know, on the offensive side, I, I listen, I, I think um, uh, I come back to Chad. I come back to the offensive line protecting Chad. Um, uh uh, my my coaching staff and the job that they've done instilling that confidence and the guys to uh, not flinch when somebody comes in that um, on either side of the ball very easily Pat goes down the defense can deflate you know the offense deflates but as opposed to just going hey let's step up and go man everybody just pick their game up an inch and let's go and that's what that's what you saw today let's go next to Aaron Ladd go ahead Aaron Coach, obviously, no Clyde today. Was there a look that Daryl gave you in practice where you feed him more so than anyone else? Yeah, I just listen. I mean, it was just a hot hand. I mean, Le'Veon's done everything we've asked him to do, and he's he's a great kid, man. Love the kid. Um, you just get into these, and you kind of go with what's what's working, and and uh, and for whatever reason, I mean, Daryl was working, and I, listen, I'm proud of him too because he's never hung his head. Even when he was third and fourth, he just keeps keeps going. And um, he's not maybe a household name, uh, but maybe after this game, people know him and, and respect the, the work that he does. He He's a very intelligent football player, um, and he plays, as you saw, a very physical game. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Andy. Um, right, I'm wondering if you could peel back the curtain as much as you're willing. When you mentioned the, the fourth down conversations, does that differ based on each quarterback? Do you alter the, the call or is Chad just running what you guys would have run anyway with Patrick in the game there? Yeah, no, we didn't alter it. I just looked at EB and um, asked him, hey, you ready to roll? And he goes, absolutely. Uh, Mike Kafka, you ready to roll? Let's go. Um, Joe upstairs. And Joe was talking about it before we ever got there. And um, and so there was a chance that we you know, we didn't think it'd be with Chad running, but you know there's a ch there's a chance where short yardage coach you got to make a decision. And so, um, but there there was no doubt with anybody. I mean, for Joe to think that, for Mike and Eb um, uh, to say what they said, to have a play, right? To have a play ready to go that everybody liked. There was no flinch on the play. It was, this is what it is. Here we go, Chad. We all knew it. Let's go. So. Got time for a couple that answer your question? Is that, you got that, Sam? You look like you're going to say something. So. All right. All right, you guys good? Anybody good else? Up, Herbie, you're not going to ask anything, dude? They're not going to let you talk? We've got a couple more questions. Put a we'll muzzle on Herbie. We'll go Herbie and then Pete. Go ahead, Herbie. Thanks, Coach. I'm glad you saw my hand up. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, you mentioned the guys digging in uh, after Patrick Mahomes went down. And the, the question I have is, did you have the opportunity to say anything to them on the sidelines or is this something they just took upon themselves? Yeah, there was no time to say anything other than let's go. You know, Chad, get one. I mean, it was we're in the middle of it trying to win the game. Right. So there's no time. We've rehearsed all that before. So it's not, you know, uh, there was no time to talk about it. Guys know, and that listen. That's that's the part that 
is, I think is a tribute to Chad and how he handles himself. So you, you don't earn that respect from the coaches and the players without handling yourself the right way every day. Whether it's in practice, he runs a scout team, you know, he's a scout team quarterback, you know, how he handles himself there, how he handles himself in the locker room, uh, in meetings. I mean, nobody had any doubt. And we'll go last to Pete Sweeney. Good, Pete. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win and game plan. I just had one more follow-up on the fourth down play. Yep. Uh, it looked like it was a similar look potentially to Miami. I was wondering if that was the same play to Hill. And then how much of a coaching point was it to make sure that you almost faked the play clock down to one and then you call it with five seconds left? And then I just was wondering how many times Chad actually maybe got to rep this. Uh, EB was talking to him the whole time about the clock. So um, – the, he, not that Chad doesn't know that, but I mean, EB was all over that. And, um, and so it was just important that the linemen didn't jump and that we kept them kind of in their stance a while. Uh, similar play, but not the same play. No, it was not the same play.